Evaluate the integral from 0 to infinity, lin x, over 1 plus x, plus x squared, plus x cubed, plus x to the power of 4, plus x to the power of 5, dx. How to evaluate the integral? The integrand is complicated. It seems not easy to use the integration by parts directly. We can simplify the integral first. The interval of the integral, is from 0 to infinity. We can break up the integral into two pieces, one from 0 to 1, and the other from 1 to infinity. Next we consider the integral from 1 to infinity. We let y equal 1 over x. Then x equals 1 over y. And dx equals negative 1, over y squared, dy. When x varies from 1 to infinity, y varies from 1 to 0. So we can now write, equals integral from 1 to 0, lin 1 over y, over 1 plus 1 over y, plus 1 over y squared, plus 1 over y cubed, plus 1 over y to the power of 4, plus 1 over y to the power of 5, times negative 1 over y squared, dy. Lin 1 over y, equals lin 1, minus lin y. Multiply both the numerator and the denominator by y to the power of 5. So we can now write, equals integral from 1 to 0, y to the power of 5, times lin 1, minus lin y, over 1 plus y, plus y squared, plus y cubed, plus y to the power of 4, plus y to the power of 5, times negative 1 over y squared, dy. Lin 1 equals 0, y to the power of 5, over y squared, equals y cubed. So we can now write, equals integral from 1 to 0, y cubed, times lin y, over 1 plus y, plus y squared, plus y cubed, plus y to the power of 4, plus y to the power of 5, dy. Swap the bounds, and change the sign of the integral. So we can now write, equals negative integral from 0 to 1, x cubed, times lin x, over 1 plus x, plus x squared, plus x cubed, plus x to the power of 4, plus x to the power of 5, dx. Note that we just changed the variable from y to x. So the original integral from 0 to infinity, is converted to the difference of two integrals from 0 to 1. By the difference rule, the difference of the two integrals, equals the integral of the difference of the two functions. So the original integral can now be written as, integral from 0 to 1, 1 minus x cubed, times lin x, over 1 plus x, plus x squared, plus x cubed, plus x to the power of 4, plus x to the power of 5, dx. We know that, 1 minus x cubed, equals 1 minus x, times 1 plus x, plus x squared. And 1 plus x, plus x squared, plus x cubed, plus x to the power of 4, plus x to the power of 5, can be written as, 1 plus x, plus x squared, plus x cubed, times 1 plus x, plus x squared. Which can be written as, 1 plus x, plus x squared, times 1 plus x cubed. So the original integral, can now be written as, integral from 0 to 1, 1 minus x, times 1 plus x, plus x squared, time lin x, over 1 plus x, plus x squared, times 1 plus x cubed, dx. 1 plus x, plus x squared, in the numerator, and that in the denominator, cancel. So we can now write, equals integral from 0 to 1, 1 minus x, times lin x, over 1 plus x cubed, dx. We know that, 1 plus x cubed, equals 1 plus x, times 1 minus x, plus x squared. So we can now write, equals integral from 0 to 1, 1 minus x, times lin x, over 1 plus x, times 1 minus x, plus x squared, dx. Note that the denominator has an item, 1 minus x, plus x squared, and the numerator has an item, 1 minus x. So we add x squared, and minus x squared. Then the integral can be written as, the difference of two integrals. So we write, equals integral from 0 to 1, 1 minus x, plus x squared, times lin x, over 1 plus x, 
times 1 minus x, plus x squared, dx. Minus integral from 0 to 1, x squared, times lin x, over 1 plus x, times 1 minus x, plus x squared, dx. In the first integral, 1 minus x, plus x squared, in the numerator, and that in the denominator, cancel. So we can now write, equals integral from 0 to 1, lin x, over 1 plus x, dx. In the second integral, the denominator is equal to, 1 plus x cubed. So we can write, minus integral from 0 to 1, x squared, times lin x, over 1 plus x cubed, dx. Now we consider the second integral, the numerator has an item x squared, and the denominator has an item x cubed. So we let y equal x cubed. Then x equals y to the power of a third. And dx equals 1 over 3x squared, dy. So we can now write, equals integral from 0 to 1, x squared, times lin y to the power of a third, over 1 plus y, times dy, over 3x squared. x squared in the numerator, and that in the denominator, cancel. lin y to the power of a third, equals a third, times lin y. So we can now write, equals 1 over 9, times integral from 0 to 1, lin y over 1 plus y, dy. The original integral can now be written as, integral from 0 to 1, lin x over 1 plus x, dx, minus 1 over 9, integral from 0 to 1, lin x over 1 plus x, dx. Which is equal to, 8 over 9, times integral from 0 to 1, lin x over 1 plus x, dx. Next we evaluate the integral by using the integration by parts method. Integral from a to b, u of x times v dash of x, dx. Equals u of x times v of x, from a to b. Minus integral from a to b, u dash of x times v of x, dx. We know that, lin dash 1 plus x, equals 1 over 1 plus x, so the integral equals, 8 over 9 times integral from 0 to 1, lin x, times lin dash 1 plus x, dx. By applying the integration by parts formula, we can now write, equals 8 over 9, times lin x times lin x plus 1, from 0 to 1, minus integral from 0 to 1, lin x plus 1, over x, dx. As lin 1 equals 0, so we can now write, equals 8 over 9, times negative limit as x tends to 0 plus, lin x times lin x plus 1, minus integral from 0 to 1, lin x plus 1, over x, dx. Now we evaluate the limit, which can be written as, limit as x tends to 0 plus, lin x, over 1 over lin x plus 1. As x tends to 0 plus, lin x tends to negative infinity, and 1 over lin x plus 1, tends to infinity. So L. Hopital's rule can be applied to evaluate the limit. L. Hopital's rule states that limit as x tends to c, f of x, over g of x, equals limit as x tends to c, f dash of x, over g dash of x. By applying L. Hopital's rule, we can now write, equals limit as x tends to 0 plus, lin dash x, which is 1 over x, over 1 over lin x plus 1 dash, which is equal to negative 1 over x plus 1, times lin squared x plus 1. Which can be simplified to, negative limit as x tends to 0 plus, x plus 1, times lin squared x plus 1, over x. As x tends to 0 plus, x plus 1, times lin squared x plus 1, also tends to 0, so again we can apply L. Hopital's rule to evaluate the limit. x plus 1, times lin squared x plus 1 dash, is equal to, lin squared x plus 1, plus 2 times lin x plus 1. x dash is 1. So we can now write, equals negative limit as x tends to 0 plus, lin squared x plus 1, plus 2 times lin x plus 1, which is 0 as x tends to 0 plus. So the limit is 0. Next we evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 lin x plus 1 over x, dx. We know that, lin 1 plus x, equals sigma from n equals 1 to infinity, 
negative 1 all to the power of n plus 1, x to the power of n, over n. So integral from 0 to 1, lin x plus 1, over x, dx, equals integral from 0 to 1, sigma from n equals 1 to infinity, negative 1 all to the power of n plus 1, x to the power of n minus 1, over n, dx. Which is equal to, sigma from n equals 1 to infinity, negative 1 all to the power of n plus 1, over n, times integral from 0 to 1, x to the power of n minus 1, dx. x to the power of n minus 1, is equal to, x to the power of n, over n dash. So the integral is equal to, sigma from n equals 1 to infinity, negative 1 all to the power of n plus 1, over n squared, times x to the power of n, from 0 to 1 x to the power of n, from 0 to 1, is just equal to 1. So the integral is equal to, sigma from n equals 1 to infinity, negative 1 all to the power of n plus 1, over n squared, which is equal to pi squared, over 12. Therefore, the original integral is equal to, negative 8 over 9, times pi squared, over 12. Which is equal to negative 2 pi squared, over 27.